morning from Tokyo. I'm starting to think that Japan is just rain. Maybe we came at the wrong time, I don't know. It's April, so April showers bring Japanese flowers. It's around 8.30, we're gonna go downstairs and eat some of this amazing Hilton continental breakfast. It's apparently a pretty amazing buffet, Rachel tells me, so we're gonna go check that out. Are you gonna press it? There's so many choices. By far the biggest breakfast buffet I've ever seen. So thoughts on the breakfast. I think it's fantastic. The bacon was really thinly sliced. They had so many different options. Asian style breakfast, American Western style breakfast, some Italian things kicked in there. Ton of different types of bread. They had unlimited locks. They had baked salmon, beautiful colored, beautiful presentation of the food, excellent service. Full disclosure, we did not pay to stay at this Hilton. Rachel has a lot of points saved up from her work and she used them to stay here. Otherwise, this room would be like 450 bucks a night. It's on the executive floor, which apparently is more expensive. If you save your Hilton points, save it for like an exotic destination instead of somewhere in the States. You just get more bang for your buck. The room is a mess. We need to clean up and pack and head to our next destination, which is what? Kusatsu Onsen town, which is like a three hour bullet train ride, I think. All right, luggage is ready. We are packed up. I love these Japanese shoehorns. It's like uh, over a foot long. This one's probably a foot and a half. So you don't have to bend over to put your shoes on. It's just like a little ta-da and your foot's in there. If these already don't exist, I'm going to private label one on Amazon. Boom. Oh, we're checked out just like that. Umbrella parking outside the Hilton. Ours is over here at 285. Didn't have enough time to take any of these out for the city. Just really came to Tokyo as a transit place. She wanted to, she said, you can't go to Japan and not see Tokyo. So we came here just for one night. So fast. This is what the vending machines look like on the inside. Thing looks just like a bullet. Good old fashioned paper. Jack Canfield, The Success Principles. This was given to me by Steve Rakin. 34 pages into it. We're actually reading this book for the month of April for the Green Room Facebook group Green Room Reads. To try to better ourselves and better our business principles. Almost three hours of train rides. Uh, actually, probably about. The other one was one. <laughs> We've ridden so many trains. This train, we just figured this out after three hours of riding. Here's a little switch down here. When you press the switch, it lets you spin. So with that function, you could look at the windows, you can turn it so you can talk to people, sit face to face. Japan's so smart. We just went through a tunnel and Rachel's been telling me that it's snowing where we're going and I didn't believe her, I did not believe her. And then we popped out of the tunnel, check it out. Japanese snow wonderland. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be awful. I'm not prepared for this at all. Can you see my breath? I don't know if it's showing up on film, but I can see my breath right now. She hates the cold, but she booked this entire trip. She can't say anything about it. It does indeed snow in Japan. It's another beautiful form of weather. Our feet are soaked. Oh my gosh. So this is where we're staying tonight. It's a ryokan and onsen. I can't pronounce the name of the place. Oh, oh, it's nice and warm. Check it out. She's checking in. Did you put on a little shoe? Beautiful heater. Mountain ski town. I like this town the best out of everywhere we've stayed so far. Ugh. 
Ugh. Ugh. It smells like cigarettes in there. Turns out that we accidentally booked a smoking room. So our fault, not a big deal. It's a reminder to why we don't smoke and why nobody should smoke because it makes your things smell like this. Room tour, the weaved grass mat things. We have two full-size beds, it looks like. Nice little short chairs, a table, a window with a nice view of some of the other snow-capped buildings here. We got a sink, hair dryer, all the hotel kind of stuff. We got a TV, or a water boiler, telephone. That looks like a humidifier. Our little coat closet. Oh, there's a little fridge down there too. And then we have a Toshiba. Looks like it has a sensor on it. Fancy butt washing toilet with one of these sink top recycled water toilet toppers. They have a communal toner, toenail clipper for all the guests. That's gross. The walls feel like sandpaper. They are textured. The detail is nice but it still smells like smoke. If they have a specific smoking area, why does our room smell like smoke? So they have rain boots that you can use. Eat. So the name of this city is Kusatsu, and it's an onsen town. I was like, I was telling Rachel, it smells like sulfur here, which makes sense because it is a sulfur pond. You can just soak your feet. Water is collecting from that area and then they're going down these chutes and it gets funneled to different parts of the city that use the water for, for their onsen. We're going here to eat Suwon, I think it's called. It's like all the way back here. And even the restaurant has a little foot soaking place. It must be cold and snowy here like all the time. So she got mushroom like a and pork. Mushroom and pork rice bowl. Mm -hmm. Presentation looks amazing. It smells good. And then I got something that apparently goes with this. That is really spicy. A miso-based soup. It's flat noodles and vegetables. I'm gonna put this super spiced stuff in it. Lunch was good, uh, about $12 a person. On our way back to our tobacco-infested room, the snow has now turned to rain. Not nearly as pretty, but what are you gonna do, right? So this is the common area of the hotel that we're at. Nice little rocking chairs. Heater oven thing. Please do not touch. I don't even feel that much heat coming off of it. Nice little viewing window to the outside world. Coffee and tea bar. Five o'clock bell. Lost track of time. I just got finished editing a video. We haven't eaten dinner yet, so we're gonna go get dinner. Ugh, slosh. Slosh, slosh. This is a smaller town, so it's a little bit cheaper. This is pretty high tech. I mean, we have like an Applebee's that does this. There's her salad. This looks freaking great. Raw fish, we got sesame ginger. Lots of raw fish, raw fish, raw fish, raw fish salad. No avocados. Do they even sell avocados in Japan? Oh, this tuna look real fresh. And then there's mine, some rice, miso, sashimi, which is just slices of fish. It's been destroyed. I don't know what this is, if I'm supposed to eat it or not, and there's a ton of wasabi. Nobody is out here. It is not tourist central. It's such a small little town. We're at the city center where the uh, sulfur is bubbling out of the ground for the onsen water. We are stuffed, closing in on 10 o'clock. I'm pretty tired. This is one of the later nights I've seen up. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss another video and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. For the anime fans out there, do you know who this is? Who is this?